In this video, you will see Julian and Alyssa given data about the fuel economy of a car at various speeds, and try to determine how fast you should drive a car to use fuel as efficiently as possible. As they work, consider the obstacles they encounter, and think about how you might solve the problem. I mean, just looking at the table, we'd want the highest value in this column, which with the data we have is this 45 which would correspond to, so we should go 55 miles per hour. But then like, I'm looking at the other inputs like in relation to this, and if you have, so you have your 55 miles per hour, and that gets you 45 miles per gallon. If you look at 45, miles per hour that gets you 43 mm -hmm. so i'm thinking like the difference between these two is only two mile no two miles per gallon and this is a difference of 10 miles per hour so if i'm traveling 10 miles per hour slower i'm only traveling two miles per gallon less so like, maybe that could be it. I mean, I get what you're saying. And I think like, I mean, my only issue with it is that it's still like 45 miles per gallon is still like higher than 43. Mm -hmm. And we want the highest fuel efficiency as possible. So the highest fuel economy. And even with these two cases, like I get that they're closer, but like, there's still like a drastic difference between these two yeah. in comparison. But I think at least how I'm going to see the problem is that this would still be more efficient than 45, even if it's only by two, two. more miles per gallon. Hmm. I mean, we could like try to draw like a graph, like using yeah. the points we have and see if like that makes a difference. Um, so, should I? Yeah. Do we want to find like the peak or do we want to know everything in between as well? Um, because like, do we know that this is what the line, like the curve is gonna look like? Oh yeah, like I do say, yeah, I think we need to find the peak, mm -hmm. but I see what you're saying about in between because who's to say that the graph doesn't like go up and then down. Yeah. Which would make this or say it was like that. Yeah. But this either of these points could be higher. So we agree that we want the peak. But yeah. We just don't know if that's the peak. Mm hmm Cause it could be like say it hmm. like I don't know, uh like fifty two miles per hour. Like it could be have a miles per gallon of like, not be like forty six or mm -hmm. something, and it wouldn't be that drastic. Of like, it wouldn't be like a like a spike that doesn't make sense. Like, this is a reasonable number that it could be. Yeah, we just don't know since we only have um, a few number of data points. Okay, I'm thinking. Every, like the miles per gallon at every speed. So instead of going like from 45 to 50 and then 50 to 55, do you like 45, 46, 47. So you get like at every, at every interval instead of just every five, maybe that would be a little bit more accurate for us. To, Cause then at that point we'll have, instead of seven, we might have like 30 points and that might be a little bit more accurate to look at. Cause we have more information to analyze. That's oh. what I'm thinking. Yeah. I mean, if we're only looking at the whole numbers, I would agree with that. But like, what if we could say like 51.5 miles per hour? Yeah. So like, like we need even more data points will yeah. give us a more accurate mm -hmm. guess as to what the peak will be and at what speed that peak is associated with. Mm -hmm. The only way to get that, I think, would be like with an equation where if you could like plug in 
like your miles per hour and then it would spit out a miles per gallon so kind of like like a graph like this where like every point is like connected mm -hmm. so like, we could like test a bunch of numbers near like mm -hmm. 55 to actually see how the graph behaves in between the points that we don't know yeah so you make some guesses mm -hmm. would you be able to get the exact maximum that way i think as close as possible but not quite exact i mean as close this, as this... <laughs> <laughs> uh, i'm sure there's a way in this video Julian and Alyssa tried to guess and estimate the maximum fuel economy value, but weren't sure how to do this precisely. We'll explore methods for finding exact values for maxima and minima in upcoming videos.